Carter is already um, debating with me what dessert he's gonna have. So he can have a popsicle if he eats his cheesy pasta. And he told me that it looks like poop, so I don't have high hopes. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday. When you're saying this, it's Monday, so happy Monday. Hope you guys all have a great week. Um, tomorrow, I get checked again. Um, but I've been having contractions, of course, you know. I'm so just, like, used to it now that I'm just, like, whatever. I feel like it's never going to happen, which is fine because I'm not 37 weeks until Wednesday. But I just have to show you the kind of morning we've had. So this is our living room. <laughs> it gets worse, guys. It gets worse. I mean, I'm all about letting the kids play, but <laughs> um, he better come and clean this all up. Luckily, my dogs know better not to eat Play-Doh. Yep, this is all by Carter. Stool up here, socks on the counter, and he threw away all of his Play-Doh. So. He has a lot more Play-Doh, but <sighs> yeah, this is what's going on right now. And I just got done um, editing the vlog. They're all in the playroom playing right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and make some breakfast. Just kidding, I couldn't bring myself to cook breakfast when everything is a mess because it's just, I wanna just enjoy my breakfast and <laughs> I don't wanna make more of a mess before I clean up this, so whatever. I'm just letting them play in the playroom and I cleaned. Now I'm just gonna go and vacuum um, the insane amount of Play-Doh on the floor and everything in the living room. Okay, so I am making turkey bacon baked in the oven. Um, I'm baking it with foil because I'm fresh out of parchment paper. Um, but I put a little bit of brown sugar on top. We're having scrambled eggs with cheese. I'm also making us all smoothies with banana, blueberry, strawberry, and a kai powder um we are out of spinach i usually like to put spinach in there as well and then we have our glutino english muffins and i hope that all of the boys eat this delicious yummy food and also today is going to be my second time getting pea pod delivery um i got it when i was in the hospital last week um but they, it was like i was really happy with it so i just did it again and so that's gonna be delivered sometime between four and seven today. So, yep, I don't have to worry about groceries today. Boys, come eat! Mmm. What is this? Thank you, Mommy. That's that looks for, delicious. That's for me. Mmm, mm, Tanner for says. <laughs> Who else mixes their bacon with their eggs? How is it, babes? Oh. Is it good? <laughs> Carter, you like it, baby? Yeah. Good. Alright. Good job. Thank you, baby. OMG. So if you've been on Baby Watch, you know that I am obsessed with this combo. You know that since I've been pregnant, I've been obsessed with tahin and watermelon. I just learned how to say it. You guys taught me how to say it, tahin. Chris is very, very picky. He doesn't like a lot of things. He's a meat and potatoes guy. <laughs> but I want to make him try this. Let's see. Yeah, I'm a potato He's guy. a potato guy, yeah. Do you think he's going to like it, Carter? Yeah. All right, let's see. Carter wants to try it, too. Maybe. All right. We gotta be brave, buddy. Even daddies have to try new things. Okay, let's see, guys. What do you think? One, two, three. <laughs> do you like it? No. You don't like it? <laughs> Daddy, what do you think? What does it taste like? I just gave it like a little, a little kick, and then kind of weird aftertaste. Good <laughs> warm though. So, would you like another piece with tahini on it? Yeah. <laughs> Ella would. 
<laughs> you don't want to heen either? <laughs> family time on the couch. It's family time on the couch? You family time on the couch? Yes, baby, that sounds great. We're just waiting for Burbro to finish up. No! So Burbro's part of our family, right? Right? <laughs> It went to, this one went to where? Okay, here we are for family time on the couch. And where did this one go? Couple minutes. We got little piggies going on over there. On the camera. <laughs> Come on, Tan. <laughs> Tan's coming up his way. <laughs> Come here, Stinker. I don't um, you. Come on, Tan. Hello? Hello? Yeah! Oh, gosh. <laughs> Heading out for some mom time by myself. Literally, like nothing fits me. This is one of the only shirts that goes over my bumps now. All my other shirts come up to like right here. <laughs> Whatever, I'm comfy. So I told you guys in my last vlog that like I wanted to kind of just go somewhere alone and walk around or whatever. So that's what I'm gonna do since the boys just went down for a nap, Chris is showering, getting ready for the day. Um, so I think I'm gonna go to Ross. I wanna find mittens for Ella in case her nails are long when she's born. Um, you can't cut their nails right away because their skin is like attached to the nail. I wanna find some slippers for myself I actually I like if you if you've watched any of my stuff like in the winter and everything I usually have like so many pairs of slippers but they get so worn out because I literally wear them constantly so right now I have no slippers at all and I'm not like a big fan of house shoes because I don't find them like comfortable like the slides and stuff like I like them if I'm like going out but like I don't wear them in the house um what else did I want I told you that her bow holder pretty much collapsed so, um, I'll see if I can find anything for her bows. Um, what else? I feel like there was something else. I don't know. I'm trying not to buy any junk because I hate clutter, but I just want to go walk around. Um, I do need new mascara. Mine is like super clumpy, but I don't know if I feel like going all the way to Ulta because it's not like exactly close to Ross. So, yeah. We'll see. Also, I'm gonna kind of just like show you my Sunday routine. Um, like I said, we're having groceries delivered, which is really nice because usually on Sundays I'm gone for like two hours grocery shopping and it stinks. So now I can actually like just go out and enjoy my time and have the groceries delivered. So this will be my second time ordering from them. We'll see how it goes. Um, gotta do like some laundry. I just like to try and get as much done for the week as I can. Um, I want to repack Ella's hospital bag because when we had that scare, I basically just like, threw a bunch of extra stuff in there. So I'm going to go through that again. Um, and we'll, we'll see how much I actually get done today. It's also only 76 outside, which it's been super hot lately. So it's only 76. Um, the humidity is not bad at all, so I'd love to get out and do something with the boys. So we'll see. Tell me who's I just got here I wanted to say something because it's like reminded me of growing up but um, I have no problem shopping at Ross like I like their stuff like some people are like don't tell people you shop at Ross why <laughs> I shop at Ross because I'm smart and I don't waste my money but anyway uh, I remember growing up like we did we I'm one of seven children we didn't have like a ton of money by any means growing up so we like, you know, we made ends meet. I got a lot of hand-me-downs and things like that. But I remember I had like a Tommy Hilfiger shirt in fourth grade. And I thought I was so cool. And someone was like, where'd you get that from? And I was like, Foreman Mills. And they were like, oh God, don't tell people you shop at Foreman Mills. You know what, guys? Kids are mean and they start young. But like, I don't feel like I was like bullied growing up or anything like that. I just feel like... I encountered a lot of mean people as I still do today and 
I'm okay with it because it kind of made me who I am today. I just want to like stand up for everybody. Like when people are like, don't pay attention to the mom shamers. Like it's not that I'm paying attention to them, but I feel like the need to say something to like stick up for every mom out there who gets mom shamed. So that's why I talk about things like that. And another thing is that like, I don't know. I remember in school too, a girl, I'll never forget, I was in second grade. I'm not gonna get emotional, but you, she said to me, well, at least my parents aren't divorced. And the teacher did nothing because her mom was on the PTA board and they were like really good friends. But I just think about like how cruel kids can be, how cruel people in general can be. So that's why I'm just always kind and always nice because you never know what anybody's going through. And that is my preaching for today. I don't know how Ross got connected to all that, but it just came to my mind, so I wanted to say it. Anyway, let's go find some cute stuff for my baby girl. at Ross. I was going to throw it in my car and now I'm going to walk on over to AC Moore to see if I can build something for her bows. Plus like I really feel like the nesting urge for her and I haven't like made anything because I have so many sweet followers and Etsy shops that have been sending me stuff but I really do want to make her something so I have something in mind. Let's see what we find. Oh my goodness. Look at all this fall stuff. I'm not ready. I love fall, but I'm not ready. Um, I just got back in the car. It's 126. It got much hotter out. When I talked to you, I think I said it was 76, 79, but it's like much more humid now. I saw on my phone that the boys were awake. Um, and Chris said, I called him. They're outside playing water balloons. Tim, you want to get Carter together? Let's get him. What do you want to do when mommy gets home? Um, go baby town. No. You can do it, Tan. So we're outside and we played water balloons and got soaking wet. And we got the pool filled up, and now Carter, what are you saying? You don't like the pool? Yeah. Uh, you don't want to get wet like who? Like Rocky. Like Rocky from Paw Patrol doesn't like to get wet? Aw. Uh, Alright, well, you can sit with Dad. I'm just lounging in the zero gravi gravity chair. I don't know if that's what it's called or not, but playing little games like Tanner put me to sleep like he always does and then Carter showed him how to wake me up with a kiss this time. Is it? Oh, I'm awake. Want me to go to sleep? Perfect. How many, how many boys can safely sit on one of these chairs? Alright, here we are. Three amigos. What should we tell everybody? I don't like a pool. You don't like the pool? Yeah. Trying to do nice things for your kids. Who do you like? All right, ready boys? This game is gonna be called one, two, three, go. Ready? And then we count. One, two, three, go. Wow. And then back up. One, two, three, go. Wow. I want to play ABC Mouse. ABC Mouse? Yeah, I don't think so. Ow. Nice little. When she play dancer fours. Tanner's currently hugging me sweetly, but kneeing me 
not so sweetly. Okay, that's cute. <laughs> I wish I wasn't in pain right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'm gonna go pick us up some Starbucks, but I wanted to quickly show you what I got from Ross. And then um, I did get stuff to make her bow holder. Not like 100% sure how I'm gonna do it, but I have an idea and I hope it works. But let me just show you the stuff that I got from Ross. So the first thing you got is this, so cute. Comes with three sets of gloves and hats. Um, surprisingly, I don't have a lot of hats for her. Like, I don't have, um, like a pretty bow hat, I just realized, for the hospital. So, um, I could make this into a bow hat as a ex NICU nurse and labor and delivery. I know how to make the big bow hats out of hats, so I might do that. This was so adorable. I had to get the, the little shoes. So cute. This will be cute for her newborn photo, and it's just like, um, really soft and they'll trust me the last thing in the world that I need is a headband for her or a bow even though I love getting them <laughs> um, but these little sandals we thought were so cute for a newborn to go for her photos on her sweet little toes speaking of toes I found my slippers <laughs> look at perfect for the hospital and for summer um, and these were $4.99 at Ross so why not I tried them on they're super soft um, you know, I love me some sweatpants, but these were $6.99. What brand is this? I have, yeah, Danskin. So I had this brand before, but they're just like really cute joggers and they're super, super soft. I think they'll be nice postpartum and they're very like lightweight. tried this before but Romeo recently puked all over my rug in my bedroom and I realized that I didn't have anything uh, any carpet cleaner left so stain and odor remover you can always use this right and then um, from AC Moore I did get two things that were not related to the bow holder and these were 40% off and I just thought these would be perfect for my fireplace. I'm always looking for something like this and I love like the rustic look. So I'm gonna put it on the fireplace. And yeah, I'll show you the bow stuff later when I get to it. But I'm gonna get Chris um, a caramel macchiato from Starbucks and I'm going to get the pink drink. <laughs> Hi my babies, I missed you. Hi. I home, I missed you so much. Hi, Daddy. Hi. Oh, hi, Tanner, my little daredevil. Thank you. You're welcome. <gasps> I miss you. Look at my kitchen. I love you. The hat. <gasps> Keep your hat on. Say hat. Oh. Hi. Oh. <laughs> hi. Let me see, baby. Can I come for a ride? Wow, that looks relaxing. Hi, honey. Oh, I don't think mommy can really fit, sweetheart. You're so sweet, though. Nice little setup. <laughs> no, no, yeah, mommy. That's a pink drink. Um, yeah. <laughs> These are so delicious, and I want to figure out how to make them myself because it's five dollars for a drink, so it's insane. But so many people have been messaging me saying that it really helped with their milk supply too. So I just figured I'd tell you guys. <laughs> What would you like for lunch today? Little lunch. You want little lunch? Sounds good. Uh, 
Oh, that's so that's nice to serve your brother your first. Baby. That makes me so proud. We are only we're splitting an uncrustable because we're still waiting for the groceries to be delivered. But I got a lot more stuff if you want anything else, okay, babe? Okay, this is my first mango and tahini experience, but apparently this is where it's at, so let's see. It's really good, but this mango isn't like cold because it was sitting out. But if it was cold, it'd be better. What? I'm still. I still like the watermelon and tahini better. A lot of both. Carter loves painting and doing crafts with mommy too, huh baby? You're so good at it. Okay. I don't think it's dry enough. So this is how it came out. I got these too. I'm going to put these somewhere on it, but it was not easy. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty good considering. Here's it with the little flowers. I just tied it around this little thing right here. Spread them out. And then I, I just thumbtacked these in. <laughs> I'm the lazy crafter. I'm really happy with how this came out and seriously took like 10 minutes. And it was very inexpensive. There's always coupons online for AC more and everything. Now let's make Chris hang it up. I got a little extra at the last minute and added this ribbon I had from my sister's um, bridal shower that I threw, but I think it just gives it a little something extra. Guys, I love it. So simple, so inexpensive. If you guys wind up doing this, please tag me. I want to see what it looks like. Now I need to like redo my headband situation. So this is what we had before that had like the bows and the headbands in it, but they're not working. So I did this, not realizing I still have so many headbands. So I gotta figure this out. I'm still sorting, but these are just the plain ones that you clip bows to. And I'm just gonna put like shove them in here for now. <laughs> Okay, I think it's a little bit better. What do you guys think? This girl's got bows on bows. And then I just felt the need to add these to my hospital bag. So freaking sweet. Ugh. Can't wait, sweet baby girl. What is going on in here? I thought we were leaving. <laughs> this is what happens when I go pee. Yeah. Ah, oh, say, ah, oh, rookie. Daddy was in here first. What? I was trying to get a nap. <laughs> Come on, you bums. Let's go somewhere. One side of the cheese sauce. You want a fun fried food? Yes, Mama. Let's see. I'm free to have fun fries. I'm going to go with it. We just stopped at this little park after Sonic. I got my ice, guys. So I'm happy. I have like a ton of pressure and cramps. Just, if we make it to Wednesday, 37 weeks, I'll be happy. Yes, can I get some ice cream, please? Tanner, Tanner's got some ice cream on his butt. I got, I not got, I not got no more ice cream. What are we supposed to have for dessert? No more ice cream. What are you What's selling that? here? I'm going to no, Daddy. <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> <laughs> 
ate at home just in time. I'm gonna do a little quick haul since you guys always ask for grocery hauls. This is what we got for this week from Peapod. Got bananas, strawberries, grapes, cherries, mangoes, broccoli, some peppers, avocado, potatoes, cucumbers, animals. Chris eats this at work. Um, I need my chocolate milk fix. This is what I use. Milk, um, some chicken, sour cream, Italian sausage, um, these white corn tortillas, some butter, this is for baking, sugar, bread for the boys, watermelon, chocolate chips a necessity. These are the fruit snacks they have, um, mac and cheese that they like. Tomorrow, we're probably gonna do taco night. Um, these are the waffles that Chris and I eat. Um, the boys just have regular waffles. The boys like this as a snack. Chips, Uncrustables, of course, apple juice, and then I got all of these because I feel like these would be really good for the crock pot. So we got Marsala. Um, sorry guys, it's witching hour. Tomato with ricotta, garlic Italian herb, creamy lemon parmesan, and alfredo. So for dinner, I'm just doing some penne. We have our Italian sausage, and I'm gonna add some prego to it. Um, this is something that Chris's family introduced me to, and actually ate this the night that we went into labor with Tanner. Carter is already um, debating with me what dessert he's gonna have. So he can have a popsicle if he eats his cheesy pasta and he told me that it looks like poop, so I don't have high hopes. I'm also gonna do some broccoli on the side. The boys eat their broccoli if it's cooked in chicken broth, so. Sitting here wondering why this is not boiling and why this is so boiling. Tico taco, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow night we're gonna have taco night, okay, honey? No. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some milk to this and hopefully no one will notice that I burnt it. Let's see. I saw you give Rookie that broccoli. <gasps> Tanner! Still just keep on trying with that broccoli, don't we? So, the boys didn't touch their dinner at all. Carter swears he's having fruit snacks, but not unless he eats all that yogurt. This is what I do as a last ditch effort when they don't eat, at least if they have Greek yogurt. Feel a little bit better. Snuggles before bedtime. What are we watching? Home. We're watching home. Right, so one of the biggest traits of ADD is not finishing tasks all the way through. And you probably heard Tiffany talk about how, um, you know, she'll like wash every dish in the sink, but then leave one for some reason or do a load of laundry, but then just not put it away or go grocery shopping and put everything away but one thing. Um, well, that's kind of why she leaves me to finish out the vlogs every night. She like does the whole vlog all day long, but then, you know, I'm nice and comfy in bed and she's about to get in the bath and just says, hey, you mind ending the vlog for me? I'm like, no, nah, it's cool. I'm just sleeping, you know, don't worry about it. Um, but I love her, so I do it. But side note, this is how I sleep every night. One dog on either side, super comfy. You should try it. Um, but anyway, we, uh, we hope you enjoyed this, uh, daily Beauty and the Beastons vlog, and as of, what, nine o'clock on Sunday night, there's still no baby, so comment your guesses when you think little Ella will be born. I said all along I, I would like her to be born on the 10th, and that way we would have one baby born on the 10th one on the 20th and one on the 30th, but that should, which would be really cool. Um, anyway, I'm rambling, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.
of us strangers Believe me when I say Loving me is 